All right, this is going to be a little by request continuation for the sector control mission. How we're going to have it is, it's kind of hard to see, but we're going to have it on the map here, which is where our tower is. And let's say a blue four unit, it's positive for blue four units. We're going to cover it with a blue marker. When there's no units in it, then it's going to go to gray. And when there's one blue four and one op four unit in it, we're going to make it so it turns to yellow as if it's being contested. And when there's one op four unit, I swear they're suicidal. When there's one op four unit, that marker's going to display red. And this is extremely simple to do. We got a man All you need is one little command set marker color. So, we're going to open up our map. We're going to go over here to Markers, go to Areas, and drag out a rectangle. That is massive. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the size of the trigger, 5.91. And... So now it's the exact same size as our trigger. Direction's the same since we just clicked and dragged it without rotating it. And we're going to go ahead and give it a name. Let's just call it um, Sector Marker. Set the style to... That is color. <laughs> Set the brush style to... I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. Although it's kind of hard to see the color with it. Let's just do... Horizontal, set it to blue just so we can see what it looks like. Not quite happy with it. Grid. That's better. So that's pretty difficult to miss, and it's pretty, like, you're using it, it's really easy to tell what color it actually is. So we're just going to go ahead and set it back to just default for now. Now remember the name, Sector Marker. So if we go to the handle score that is QF file we made, here's where we're going to pretty much have everything. So you can see here the command here, it is global. So that means if we change the color, since we're on this is running on the server, if we just change the color to anything we want, everybody on the server is going to be able to see it. So it goes by marker name. So this is if there's blue, more blue four units than op four, so we're going to make this blue. So it's marker name, sector mark, marker, set marker color, then the color. Now the schemes for this is goes by the name color, then, well, the actual color. So color blue. And now this is when there's more op four and the trigger. So we're just going to set it to color red. So now when we go into the game, no units are in it. Let's zoom in. So right now it's just sitting black. When a blue 4 unit goes in, it should be blue, just like so. Now when an op 4 unit goes in, it should turn to red, just like that. But now that the op 4 units have left, it's still red. So we want to change that so it turns back to, actually let's just set it to gray. We'll use gray as being untested so there's nobody in there. And then I guess yellow would be a good color to determine if there's an even amount. Yeah, it should be fine. You can set it however you want. So we actually want to put these two if statements inside another if statement. So we want to do what's called nesting. So if blue four count does not equal zero or op four count does not equal zero, then we want to do this stuff. So we want to either make it red or blue only. We only want these two checks to run only if there is at least more than one unit 
in, of either side inside the trigger. So if there's no units in it at all, then we're just going to set the color to gray. So we're just going to use our else. Set marker color, color, gray. So now we just need one more little check to determine if it is e if the amount of each unit is equal. So if there's three block, ugh, three out four and three blue four inside of the area, then we want to make it yellow. So just do yellow. So I'll show an example, then go through and kind of do a quick explanation. All right. All right, so right now it's gray. I walk forwards. It's blue. I walk back out. Turns back to gray. And blue. So now we get one op four unit in here. It turns to red. I'll get a man down. So now we get one blue four unit. And we're going to spawn an op four unit. It turns to yellow because there's an even amount and he just killed himself. So we get one blue four, one out four, same amount. It's con it's pretty much contested as yellow. Then both units, no units are left back in it. And it turns back to gray. So you can kind of see how that works there. Freaking idiot. So if there is that, if there is no units of at all inside the trigger, then it's going to set the color to gray. If there is at least one unit on each side inside the trigger, it's going to do a check. So, first check is going to be if there's more blue 4 than op 4, then it's going to set the color to blue. If there's more op 4 than blue 4, it's going to set the color to red. If there's the same amount of blue 4 and the same amount of op 4, then set the color to yellow. And that's it's literally as simple as that.